my skin is glowing. I love it. Hi guys, welcome back to the Ramadan vlog. This is episode 2. Thank you so much for all the love, all the comments on my previous vlog. So I'm starting this vlog with an unboxing because I was supposed to do it in my last vlog. But what happened? I feel like the vlog was getting too long, so I wanted to cut it short. Yeah. So this is the unboxings we have. I think I'm going to first start with um the abaya. So I was sent this abaya from a small business called Faraj. I think it's Faraj, I don't know how you pronounce this. But yeah. Garage London, and I might actually get to wear it tonight. So, let me... it comes with a cute note, dear Hamida. We hope you adore this poor buyer. Oh, thank you. Um, so I picked out a black buyer. So they had like um a collection for this year but they also said i could like pick from their previous year but i picked out this one because i felt like i needed like just a plain regular abaya you know so i picked it very simple but it has like this detailing let me show you on the sleeves it has this here so this just has like bow is satin so it's a very simple abaya that you can really just wear for everything it's nice let me move back and show you here. Yeah. You see when I get dressed later, but I think it's really cute. Thank you. Sending me this gorgeous Amaya. Now, the next one I want to open. This is actually like a... I think it's like a care package from Holland and Barrett. They send me stuff occasionally. Like when they have new things to new products that they like me to try out or things like that and i actually don't know what's inside this one the last time they sent me some skincare stuff from like walida they also sent me um like snacks because you know hula number it carries like a lot of stuff that's why i buy my dried mangoes because they have a lot of it Okay, so this is the seven ways to transition your skincare routine into spring box. Oh, that makes sense. So they have like a note that shows everything. I want to vlog this for, I want to um, record this for Instagram, like for my reels or like stories. So I'm going to like just show you guys like a little BTS here. excited for this one so this is skin hair and nails gummy i'm even going to use it this night also they gave me the diffuser i used to have one of these and somehow i think it stopped working so i can't wait to use this it has light and it has mist so you can like mist the environment or you can just do like the light diffusing stuff and for the diffusers, they gave me some diffuser oil. This one is rest to restore balance. This one that I'll probably use this night is Sleep Better Diffuser Oil. Let me try. And there's um, 
this one that is distress <laughs> this one is distress when you're tired and they gave me this purple um, lip balm it has SPF feelings. They gave me last time they sent me something and it has to I didn't know they had like a lip plumping one because this one the purple one says lip plumping. I had no idea. Um also I really want to use this. This is look at it. This is a deodorant and it's actually refillable. It's a spray. Let me spray it and see what it smells like. I like it mother approves then this is the Sue skin hydrating mist toner I feel like I have this in travel size and they sent it to me I'm not sure but finally okay not finally but we have the Vita skin vitamin C gentle daily exfoliator Wait, how am I supposed to use this? But you, you can't exfoliate daily, so I'm not sure I'm going to use this daily. Then we have this one. This is the superficial. I really love, love the packaging of this one. Not this one, like the bottle itself. But it says it's a vitamin C brightening night cream. It helps you sleep well. Okay. Let me... Oh, look at that. Focus. Why is it not focusing? Yeah. Anyways, thanks to Hulad and Barrett for this. <coughs> I can't wait to use it. I just unboxed this. I feel like this is the most beautiful gift. Mommy. My first eat. So this is for Hisham. Um, it's just like this the baby grows and it says my first aid. So pretty. Mamas are papas. Then they also sent this just a, like a toy thing. It's very cute. I like it, very minimal as well. And a fragrance. Oh, this is actually bath and shower gel from Molten Brown. Can you see it? See blurry? Okay, yeah. And finally, another blankie that says my first aid. It's just... Oh, I love it. Let me open it. Sham, is for you. It's for you. It's for you. All right. Oh, this is so cute. Your first id. Your first id. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is nice and it's very cozy and thick as well. Mommy, I feel it. So, our final unboxing for today is by My May Skin. Uh, they rebranded, formerly known as the Rami brand, they're not my main skin. So I'm going to unbox this real quickly, then I'll show you what's inside. This is going to be my new skincare going forward from today because I know I did my skincare this morning, but I want to go back to using the Rami brand, so I'll show you what's in there. My main skin completely upgraded because look at the packaging of this product. Very clean, very minimal. And so beautiful i love the personality i love the colors as well so i got the brightening essence i've used this before the sera moisture cream i'm not sure i've used this one before the last time i ordered i'm not sure they had this but I'm really excited to try it and i also got the regency serum this one everybody has been raving about i'm not sure I've, okay no i've not used this i think this is new because this one has um bakuchiol in it one percent bakuchiol and then I got, what's this again? The hydrating toner. This is what the plastic of this one looks like. Um, this one has propolis extract. Yeah. And this is 100 ml. Uh, I really want to use this one because I have not used this one as well. So when we're doing my nighttime routine, we're going to be trying out this new product. Ouch. Oh. The time is 12.30. 
12.46 but I'm feeling a bit exhausted but I've just finished my unboxings like the content that I want to shoot for today the only thing left that I want to shoot for today would be my OOTD I hope that gets you I'm boiling water so there might be a bit of a background noise but other than that yeah so I want to show you guys a few things I picked up the other day I couldn't fit in the last vlog so I went to TK Maxx and I don't know for some reason this fascinated me I've actually never seen this uh, it's just like a foot scrubber but it comes like in the shape of your foot so you just place your foot in here basically and it makes it very easy to scrub my feet terrible so I needed this I bought it and then the other side as well so I guess the other side just kind of you know, I thought that was nice so I picked it up and I picked this one up as well for my foot I feel like one of the reasons why I'm not in my glass skin era is because I'm not started using a silk pillowcase anyways I picked this one up from TK Maxx and I really just want to try it so even though like I change my pillowcase like every week I still want to just try and see if there's going to be like any difference in my skin because you know cutting and stuff it traps in all the dirt so who knows how much does I'm making in a week so I'm going to try this one okay of course it had to be pink I can't believe there was a time that I was running away from pink but I'm not going to use pink okay this is nice but I mean, what do I expect to see people kiss? I think I just had a, a moment feeling like I could have done this myself, you know? Specifically because I have hijab fabrics that are exactly like this, and they're just a plain fabric, and I don't wear them that often, so I could easily convert them all to a silk pillowcase. But I'm gonna try this out and see if it helps my skin. so let me tell you why I'm doing um, a blood test so basically oh god when I was pregnant with Naya I had like a situation where um, I had like a situation where after breastfeeding her for like three months I started to experience um, shrinkage of breast sorry that my hands are shaking but i started to ex experience shrinkage of breast and what this means is that i have i know generally generally one breast the breasts are unequal right so one breast is bigger than the other but my own is not normal it's so bad that if you look at me you would actually see go this way like that one is just so small compared to the other one like it just keeps shrinking shrinking of which they were the same size before producing as much milk and suddenly they just don't produce as much milk anymore till it stops producing milk like it will just produce a few drops basically so it's happened to me again this time after like two months of breastfeeding Hisham and I went to the GP I went to complain I remember the last time people kept saying maybe 
put the baby to breast more. Da, 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 da. I did every single thing they told me to do and it didn't work. So now I'm going to the clinic. They did a checkup for me, but they said I cannot do a scan yet because I'm still breastfeeding. So what I'm doing now is you're going to do a blood test just to see if everything is fine to know what's going on. And after that, when I'm done breastfeeding, they will do a scan. I don't know. Yeah, but like, that's why I'm going. I don't know if there are like other moms that have experienced this that you can just share in the comment section. If you know anybody, the last time I went for the LTK gala, my friend Ruth, she saw, she saw it because that day I was engorged because I had no fair So So the, the one that I was working was obviously massive and the other one was completely non-existent. She saw it, it was so painful and it was so bad. So I don't know if there are other people that have experienced this before or if this is just a me thing. So if you know anybody or if you're that person, please comment below. When I'm done from the clinic, I'm going to go to, um, you know that cafe that I mentioned in the previous vlog, I wanted to go and get cake. I think it's called Cha Cha Chai. So yeah, I'm going there to get the Matilda cake. That cake is so yummy, so gooey, so moist. It's a chocolate cake and I got it last time for Kartha when she came to my house. It's so good. I feel like I posted it on TikTok even. So I'm going to get it. I'll show you guys. But we're going to eat it for like, I'll eat it after iftar, basically. And you have to like microwave it for 30 seconds to get like the perfect consistency. So yeah. It's so actually not far from the clinic. I, I wanted to get this after Tarawi. But if I waited till that time, there's possibility that Abdul will not be able to, will not want to go. So I'm just like, when I'm coming back from the clinic, I'll just pick my thing up myself. So yeah. Anyways, I'll see you guys when I get to the clinic or maybe, am, am I not? I don't think I'm going to film in the clinic if they didn't say anything like worthwhile, if it's just a test. But if they say anything worthwhile, I'm going to film. If not, then I'm going to see you guys at Cha Cha Chai. Alright, bye then. Bye, bye. Thank you. Are you and I are there much? I'm trying to see what to get again. This one is nice. This both curls. Moara cake, you know, they all be amunera, donuts from um if thought this cake hello um do you still have the red velvet one one red velvet yeah four pound please bring it in Salam <laughs> alaikum. Thank you. How are you? Just got back and the breeze outside. I loved it so much on my face. It felt like I went to the spa. <laughs> so I'm going to like start doing my makeup now because i have my so i want to give myself one hour do my makeup and do like the ootd because i have my driving lesson for four o'clock let me show you the cake i got this is the red velvet i don't know it looks like a sponge cake but the one i was dying to show you guys is the matilda This gorgeous gorgeous cake oh, so yummy I'm going to put it in the fridge and that's what I'm looking forward to for star. this is supposed to be a very simple makeup Going with my brows this is what I use for my brows every single time yeah this is the next brow glue so what I do is 
when I apply this, I let it get sticky before I now press down with my finger. You guys will see it in my video when I upload it. But yeah, it works like magic all the time. perfect <laughs> this is my setting spray of choice this is the wishery hydrating dual setting face mist yeah that's what, that's that's so I'm just gonna let this dry but in the meantime I'm gonna pack up and one get dressed. I got the easy part. I want to be into like a video. Okay, here is Naya. She's back from school. You need to look at me, Naya. So now they can see you. What do you want to say to them? This is this is my mom's YouTube channel. Thank you, Inaya. Can you tell them to like, comment, and subscribe? Like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Inaya. So, guys, um, this is my outfit. I dressed up. What this beautiful hijab? Yeah, let me come close. It looks so beautiful. Thank you, Vivi. I did a quick outfit change. So, under my abaya, I had like a black top and pants on so I just put this reversible coat on it. I'll show you better here. It's got pockets as well. Wait. Yeah. Hmm? Mm -hmm. to I to I want to fast Tomorrow. Perfect. Oh. Mm. Mm. This is what I use to take off my makeup. This is my ego list. And I'm really tired. I don't know how I'm going to do myself. But I need to get this makeup off me and get into my skin. I'm not even in the mood. Like, gets everything off completely. Like, can you see? Sisters 
have gone on, but this is my outfit. Wearing this lovely Kimara. Slightly different from the one I wore for um, Zuhur today. I really love it. You could like put it over your head, but I put it around my neck because I wasn't really take off my hijab. And I really like it. The fabric is very silky and nice. Yeah. Love it. It's giving. And the sleeves. Look at the sleeves. It's also really nice that you could like. This was how I braid with it, just to like cover my fingers. I just really like it. Now I want to. I want to go and eat my cake now. My Matilda cake that I waited for is what I'm going to get. After this cake, time to go to bed. This is our cake. Wait, let me bring it closer. Like that is so good. So so good. Do you see that? So guys, I've had the longest, longest day and tomorrow I'm not gonna fast. I will be sleeping a lot. I'm probably editing, but I need to go to bed now. And yeah, thank you for watching the episode two. I will see you in my next vlog. Mm -hmm.